Okay. Today is December, no, January, I think, 5th, 2018. And, uh, a lot of things have happened for me recently and over the past three years. And I've kind of, it's been a learning experience and a growing experience. Um, I came to understand, to believe that through an infallible, infallible means that the 66 book canon is not the full word of God. You know, um, there's much more to it. There's books that were removed, books that weren't included. And it's enough for me to say that. And um, and the problem is, is that I felt the need to go to people. You know, this is my belief. And like I said, it's it's been through infallible truths that have come to me, that have been presented to me, that I couldn't deny if I wanted to anymore you know I've seen now I am you know the Logos has healed my blindness and you know when Jesus healed the blind man who you know it's not very hard for the for people to realize that it is symbolic of humanity the blind man even in church you sing songs and you say, I once was blind, but now I see. So it's not a far reach to imagine that that is a truth. That, you know, the Word of God is so much more than just a, a literal healing, showing His power over physicality. But I think the big, the big problem was that I sought out to correct this. I believe that it is laid out that we must fight for this faith. And, uh, <laughs> but the tricky thing is, is the Word of God is quite a, an enigma. It's a paradox. And, and the kind of fighting that we are expected to do isn't the way we, you know, your mind first goes to. I, I imagine that I had to go to everyone and prove it and even in harsh forms, you know, bring this this judgment to the church, you know, judgment begins at the house of God. And I believe that it is part of part of the saints, that the latter rain saints is it's part of their calling to fight for this faith. But to fight in the kingdom of God is to become a servant out of pure love. You know, when Jesus approached these men that tried to kill him, he turned the other cheek, and that's how he fought them. He fought with his word. And I really did a lot of damage by seeking to disprove people and seeking to kind of I thought I was doing what I was supposed to be doing, but I think I was wrong. And finally, after fighting with many people and getting into really bad situations, I was invited to go speak with a pastor in a church about it. And on the way over, I had kind of started to intuit that I needed to change something, something or something needed to change in me not something I needed to change and as I was walking there I was praying for love and humbleness and that I wasn't going to go and I wasn't going to just prove my point I was just going to question and and just admit admit that these things these things should be brought up but yet not in a manner of of proving myself right or 
even proving God right for that matter. I just had to honestly speak my heart and say that, and, and kind of express how I've grown up in a church all of my life. I've grown up, you know, not, the, I wasn't the greatest lay person. I wasn't the most studied person. I certainly wasn't the best behaving. I was probably the opposite. But needless to say, I grew up all of these years and had never even heard of any of these books that are, you know, Jesus quotes from 2nd Ezra's verbatim pretty well. Paul is quoting from all of these books. Jude is quoting from Enoch. You know, James is quoting from Sirach. You know, Paul seems to love the wisdom of Solomon. And they're all quoted in this emphatic way, in this way that always has to do with, you know, the commandment of believing on him who is sent, or the doing of the word, or putting on the whole armor of God. It's laid out for us and we've missed it. We were blind, blind to what was in front of our eyes. And, and well, really what we need to do is, we really need to win this battle through love. just as Jesus did before us because everything that is going to happen is patterned after what has already happened. Things that will be are the things that have been. And for God to speak in matters, for that matter to come true. And all of the answers are spread out. but yet they are there and we must find them. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. Ask and it will be given.